What's up? Welcome back to Live LEO. This is a special episode. Now, today we're taking a show on the road. Obviously, we're out in the vehicle. So, we're not going to be in the studio today. We're going to be out and we're going to be taking a look at a uniform store out here in Crestwood, Illinois. It's called the Eagle Uniform Company Incorporated. I call it the Eagle Store. I mean, this store has came a long way since it started back probably 20, 30 years ago. It's not a very big store, but it supplies majority of all the Chicago area and all the Northwest Indiana too as well. And everybody Everybody, if, if you wear a uniform, you're a police officer in Chicago area or Northwest Indiana, everyone knows about the store. If you don't know about the store, you're going to want to know about the store, and I'm going to show you why. So let's go inside to take a look at it, but I want to show you guys something before we get inside. There's something that just stands out. I just cannot picture it, but I mean, it just, I don't know if it's the graphics or what, but I mean, it just seems like it reminds me of someone I know. Huh. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. But we'll, we'll figure it out later on. Let's get inside. Let's take a look at the store inside and we'll go over some stuff and we'll show you um, what um, you need to be wearing while you're on the job and why you need to wear it. So let's get inside and take a look at it. Finally made it in the store here at the Eagle store. Now, today on Live LEO, like I said, we're gonna be talking about all the gear that police officers wear. We, I mean, we've talked about foot pursuits, we've went over uh, vehicle pursuits. Well, um, you know, we really didn't go over the stuff that officers wore. I showed you guys some of the vests, one of uh, the vests that uh, police officers wear with all the gear on it, how much briefly, how much it weighs. But today we're gonna be going over a lot more in depth about the gear that police officers wear and how things have changed over time. Um, when I started as a police officer, we strictly had only cotton pants. Um, we had cotton shirts, very hot, didn't didn't wick away moisture. I mean, they would always rip when you had a foot pursuit, didn't stretch, gr great in the winter, horrible in the summertime. Yeah, just horrible all the way around. So today we're going to be taking a look at some different style pants from 511. We're taking a look at some different shoes. Um, so just walking right into the store, right here into the Eagle store. And a lot of stores, uniform stores, the best way to do it, you could buy any of this stuff online. All right, any of this stuff, but you need to touch it. You need to feel it. If you're gonna be wearing this stuff all day, if you're gonna be putting your life on the line every single day, you want to feel. You want to touch. You want to make sure it fits right. How many times you want to re keep returning stuff back, you know? And then you're down um, because of the gear isn't fitting right. You come here at a uniform store, if not this store, and this store is is well known in the Chicago area. It's well known in North and in Northwest Indiana. If you guys don't know about this store, it's the Eagle Store. It's right off 137th in Cicero. I mean, a lot of amazing stuff and we're gonna go through all that stuff today. So getting back to um, the gear. So even like with belts, belts have came a long way. Back in the day, they only had leather belts. Now they have uh, uh, nylon belts. Um, they have nylon belts with molly on them, much more lighter weight, um, which is huge, especially with all the gear police officers wearing. The pants, moisture wicking pants, shoes. I mean, I wore combat boots back in the day. So we're gonna take a look at all that stuff right here on Live LEO, and we're gonna show you, you know, how, how things have changed dramatically, dr dramatically, dramatically. Um, throughout the years. So let's walk through this store. We'll take a look at some stuff and we'll talk about it. But first thing, let's talk to Bobby. Now, Bobby is the owner CEO of the company. He's an ex-Marine. He's a, um, he's a police, current police officer. So when you come here, you're going to get the proper treatment. You're going to know, you're going to get it from somebody that, that wears the stuff all the time. This is Bobby. Say what's, what's up, Bobby? Guys? How you doing? Thanks for coming in. So Bobby, and also too, is Bobby makes some great freaking carriers, but we're going to talk about that later on. So I want to show you guys some of the belts. Now, belts have come a long way. Um, from nylon belts um, to leather belts to belts with uh, basket weave. Um, I mean, take a look at some of these belts. Now, Bobby, he doesn't have any Safe Life Defense yeah. belts. So well, we're going to knock off one star for Bobby for not having a Safe Life Defense in belt. They're on their they're, way in. So they're okay. So they're, 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 we'll, we'll give him a half a check yeah. back. But he is getting a Safe Life Defense belt. Now, I mean, he does have some nylon belts here, Biaki. Um, I mean, he has, um, when you come in here, you'll be able to get all everything you need, one-stop shop. Um, here we go, some thinner um, um, basket weave belts. 
um, some more of that real shiny stuff. I mean, so I mean, everything you need, um, straight um, leather belt, um, everything you need right here um, you know, at the store. And pretty much a lot of stores are like this. Uh, but you, you know what? When you're looking to go with a uniform store, you're going to, going to go to a uniform store, do your, do your research. You know, just take a look at who works, um, who owns a store. You know, just, I mean, do all that stuff. Because you don't want to walk in a store and someone's selling you trash. Because that is the worst thing you walk out and then you go home or you go to work and you're like, who the hell sold you that trash? So, I mean, <laughs> do your research. Because there's a lot of stores out there that, I mean, are ran by people that have no idea they just want to take advantage of police officers or first responders, uh, you know, and just sell them trash. Um, so, look at the belts. I mean, like I said, belts have came a long way. Um, back in the day, um, I, don't, I don't know if nylon belts were out, but I think that um, we weren't allowed to use them. We were strictly um, leather belts um, back in the Oh, you know what? Uncle Mike's. I remember now. Uncle Mike's had a belt, but the buckle was horrible. I mean, it was one of the horrible, worst buckles out there. It was a plastic buckle. You push the button, and it would just fall right off you. I, I don't even think there was any nylon. I'm mean, not nylon, but um, Velcro. Right, Uncle Mike, Mike's? Yes. Yeah, just, just some horrible stuff. I think they still sell some stuff. But um, um, so that was the belt that, that was th there when, when I was around. So take a look at these pants. Oh, now, oh, these, when were you around? What do you, what do you mean when you were around? When I was, what yeah. Was this? So, this, so, so, so he's trying to, trying to make me sound old, but you guys could all tell that I'm not really that old. I'm old, but I'm not that old, but not that old. So pants. Now, I've, I've like I said, I wore cotton pants. Horrible. I, I mean, I used to hate them. I mean, they would fade at the knees. They would turn a white, you know, after about about a year of using them. And there was only one style pants back in the day that we were authorized to use. So 5'11", they have these pants called stripe pants. Uh, now, these are a freaking, um, I wear these all the time. Like, I'm not wearing them now, but I, majority of the time, I wear them a lot. Um, they're very, very lightweight. They're moisture wicking. Um, what was that other thing you were talking about, Dave? Ripstop. So rip stop. So if you guys all know about that. Whenever you pull a little stream, it, it just draw makes that line all the way down your shirt. Just makes you look makes it look horrible. Um, you know, looks unprofessional. And, and also too is a flex. I mean, that is the biggest thing because I don't know how many pants I've been through where I would jump a fence and my pants would rip. These right here, I mean, they stretch. I mean, you you go way down low, and I'll tell you what, you don't even feel it. it doesn't restrict any of your movement, and that's the style of pants you guys want when you guys are on the job. Something that's gonna flex, that's not gonna restrict your movement. You guys sit in a vehicle all day long. I mean, you need something that's going to, you know, just be very, very comfortable. You know, I mean, the more comfortable you are, the better you're gonna feel, you know, on the job, and the better you're gonna perform. So you guys remember that stuff when you guys are purchasing gear. Don't buy the stuff that's cool. Don't buy the stuff that other people tell you. Go out, come to a store like this, and find out, try the stuff that you need. Because you know what? You're the one at the end that's gonna be wearing this stuff. Not the other person, not, not the cool kids on the job. You know, it's gonna be you. So the stuff that works for them may not work for you. So, look at some of the shirts. Now, like I said, I used to wear cotton shirts. Cotton shirts are the worst. If you guys wear cotton, if you got anyone out there who's wearing cotton shirts right now, and now I know a lot of departments right now are switching over to um, like a moisture wicking shirt. Like 511 makes a great moisture wicking shirt. Proper, I mean, I got turned on to proper right at the end of my career. Um, to their moisture. Do you have any proper shirts? I do. So proper makes a great moisture wicking shirt. Also too is um, you can embroider on it, you can put patches on it. The apartment where I was at, I switched over when I became the chief to proper um, polo shirts. We'd embroider on it. Just a great freaking shirt. I mean, all around great shirt. Come with a vented under. I mean, just, just a great shirt. And for the price, I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, and you probably sell a lot of these, right Bobby? Yeah, it's part of one of the biggest. Yeah, ones. and I believe the department out here, Crestwood wears them too, right? Yes, is it, is it, so, on, on duty. Yep. Yeah, so so uh, a lot of the apartments out here in the South Suburb, that is their main go-to shirt is the proper shirt. It's a moisture wicking shirt. And I'll tell you what, for wearing a cotton shirt all the time and you switch over to one of these, man, it's like you got like you got a fan um, coming under your shirt. It's freaking sweet. Um, so like I said, m make sure you do your research before you guys come over to a uniform store and just make sure they have everything. And also to the per person that's uh, selling your stuff just knows what he's talking about. So, uh, whoa, look at this guy. He's creeping up on me. You believe this guy? Chicago, creeping up on me. I'm not gonna allow it. But you know what? This is a, this is a, one of the carriers that Bobby makes here. I mean, a great freaking carrier. We're gonna take a look at that later on when we go in the back. But I wanna show you guys some other thing that affects officers. You know, a lot of police officers have bad feet. You know, it's from standing all day. If you're working a long freaking detail, you know, you put the cushions in there. Shoes have came a long way. Now, back when I was on, I had to wear 
um, like a military style boot. That was it. There was no gym shoes. It wasn't allowed. I mean, some departments still don't allow it. They still have to have some kind of military style boot or something just like a more class A boot. Yo, so you'd be looking at Bates. Bates has been around a long time. This is a style boot I used to wear, but not not like this, not not lightweight. It was more of a heavy boot. It wasn't designed like that. Bates wasn't, um, their stuff wasn't designed that way back in the day. Um, you got you got Reebok. Reebok makes a great shoe, um, you know, like a running shoe that still looks, you know, very professional. Proper Wink's a, a great boot as well. These are very lightweight. Uh, they have some cushion inside. Just a great all around. Under Armour. Under Armour makes a lot of amazing stuff. And their boots are great. I mean, very lightweight, still has that, you know, that military style look, that professional look. You put them out with your pants, um, you know, and then they're high enough. One of the things, too, is when you get out of the car, um, especially if you're not wearing the right size pants, and this is where it comes into coming out and actually, um, you know, having, putting on the gear. Because you're going to put on some pants, and they're going to be, you know, you get out of the car, they're going to be flooding, or they're going to be too long. You just look unprofessional. You're going to be creasing, you know, just, just sagging. Just, I mean, you want to look professional all the time, and that is why you have to come to a store to try on this stuff. Uh, moisture wicking socks, huge. I mean, it's a must, especially in the summertime. Um, you're going to be on your feet. You're going to be in a car all freaking day. It's 100 degrees outside. You guys are working in a hot area like Las Vegas, Arizona, Texas. All this moisture wicking stuff is going to help you guys out drastically. Now, I'm here in Chicago, so my clothing is always was always changing. I was going from a turtleneck. I was going to um, a jacket. Jackets are, are huge here. You can get jackets here as well. Um, they got blower jackets. What other jacket styles do you guys have? Uh, that's the most popular one. Yeah, Blower fleece. Yeah, Blowers are huge. It's I mean, like a North Face. Jacket. Yeah, so they have all different styles. You could actually embroider your badge on that. You could wear it under your um, under your vest. Um, so I mean, Blowers. I mean, Blowers been around a long time. I have many Blower shirts. I have many Blowers jackets as well. They actually have like a proper has like a style jacket too as well, which is real nice. And that's why you you come here because I'll tell you what, police officers are. I mean, we want we, we love buying gadgets, we love buying gear, we love buying clothing. You come in here and you're looking to just buy a, a pair of shoes, I'm telling you, you're gonna walk out with like handcuff case, you're gonna walk out with a fleece jacket like in the back, you're gonna walk out with a blue line t-shirt, I mean, you're gonna walk out with bags, rifle bags, hey, you don't even have a rifle, but you're gonna buy a rifle bag by Voodoo, I mean, just like, there's so much stuff that you could see when you come to a uniform store and, and when you have someone that really knows what they're talking about. I mean, just, it, it's endless. I mean, I come in here, I'll be like, hey, Bobby, I'm going to come in here and buy a, buy a hat, you know? And I want this embroidered. Actually, I need a hat like this embroidered for live LEO. Okay. So, see that? I'm already buying <laughs> shit. I'm going to get out of here, man. It's like fast because I'm going to end up spending all my money that I'm making on this video. So, getting back to it. Now, I want to show you guys what, what makes this uh, store stand out. All right, what really, really, why people come here from all around Chicago, all around Northwest, Northwest Indiana, and that's because of their carriers. Now, carriers is probably the most important piece of clothing that any, besides their gun and their mind, their mind, your mind, remember people, is your number one most important thing that you have on you all the time. Now, if your mind isn't right, you can't do anything else. All right, so just remember that. But getting back to it. A, their carriers, one of the most important things out there. I mean, it must be comfortable. I must distribute your weight properly. Must distribute your gear properly. It holds all your most important gear, um, your radios, your taser, your your handcuffs, everything right here um, at the Eagle Uniform Store. Um, they make all that stuff custom. I mean, everything that they have in here is custom carriers, except for now they just started working with us with Safe Flight Defense. Um, and so a lot of, uh, he's carrying a lot of our carriers. He has a tactical multi-thread carrier. I'll show you guys. Um, so that is probably one of the only carriers that he has that is in customs. You could come in here and you could walk out with a safe like defense carrier. You could walk out with a, if he has your, your um, style, if you want like special uh, attach, um, attachments, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it'll take you about what, about four to six weeks. Uh, before Corona, that's what it would have taken. Yeah. But now we've kind of been set back. But we're yes. to get back on track. So now it's probably, probably I would say, five right. or six yeah, weeks. You, you maybe yeah. Close to seven, eight. seven weeks to get a yeah. custom vest made. I mean, still, which isn't bad. I mean, especially with the times the way we are now. Um, but so you take a look at some of the work he has here. And this is all custom stuff. This stuff, this right here, is made right over there. This right here is made right over there. Now, this right here is made at Safe Life Defense. And also, too, he carries Safe Life Defense body armor panels. Level three 
A and then level three A plus as well. And I don't believe you have any of the Fraz, the flexible right farmer, right? I ordered it, it's on its way as well. So <laughs> flexible right farmer, let me tell you guys about this. Now it is designed um, and is cut exactly the way this are. So so see the cut on this um, on this um, panel. How much cover it gives you, where a typical rifle protection only gives you like a 10 by 12, where that's going to give you a full wraparound protection all the way up. That is flexible rifle armor. Now it's going to stop everything from 223, 556, and 7.62 by 39, which is commonly used on AK 47 rounds. And it is flexible, and it can be put in this carrier. So no more rifle plates. Um, you know, no more, um, you know, bulky, uncomfortable to get that rifle protection. You'll be able to get that with the flexible rifle. I mean, Bobby's going to have it here, right here at the store. So you guys can come in here, get sized up um, with his custom carriers, with safe like defense carriers, with the body armor panels, with the flexible rifle armor. You get sized up, he'll take care of whatever route you want to go. He will take care of it and he will put you in the right direction. He's not here to sell you stuff that you don't need. Just like, I mean, any good company is not going to sell you stuff that you don't need. And like I said, it's all made right here now he also does custom embroidery and that's what we're talking about with the hat you need a live leo hat so you have a lot, whole custom embroidery yeah, shop in the back so this too i mean like i said this is a one-stop shop i mean you come here you get it all everything except for your gun you can get here um and a lot of good stores uniform stores out there that is what you want you want to go there you want to go to one place you want to get your stuff and you want to get out of there you know you don't want to be you know tied up i mean wasting your time at places you know just where they don't have the proper stuff right here get it all one stop shop one stop shop so back here this is off limits but the live leo show we have a vip pass so, um, we're going to take a look at this. Now, right here at the embroidery machine. Now, he's had this machine probably about, what, about three years? About three years. About three years. And he makes custom embroidery for everybody. I mean, all departments, Chicago PD, county, state police, you name it, he makes it right here, um, you know, in this embroidery shop. I mean, he'll do hats. He does um, vests. He does shirts. He's going to do probably all of a live LEO's um, gear for embroidery, and that will be coming out very soon, people. My live LEO gear will be coming out. Like, I already have the coffee cups. I had one. Bobby, I had a cup for you, man. I was going to oh. give Bobby my very first LEO cup besides the one I have. Um, and also, too, you guys can buy them on Supreme Whiskey Stone's website. Um, they're up on there now. But I was going to give Bobby one of the first live LEO cups, but I forgot it because I was rushing out um, to get over here to show you guys all this stuff. Now... Just because you guys don't see something in a front of a store. Always remember, there's always a back of a store, so ask. Because if you guys come here and you guys don't see something in the front, Bobby might have it here in the back, just like any other store. You know, and also, too, call. You know, make sure. I mean, you guys are open, what, Monday through Friday? Yep, 9 to 5, and then uh, we have two late days, Monday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Yeah, so, I mean, he's open Monday through Friday. I mean, call, come by. Um, you know, he has pretty much everything you need. You know, you can do your custom carriers. But there's one more thing I guys want to, I want to show you guys before we leave up out of here. Now, like I said, I mean, there's a lot of things that go behind, you know, um, just just the job, you know, and it's the uniform and um, I stress that all the time because the uniform is probably one of the most important things besides your mind um, and your gun and you just want that comfort. So that is the end of live LEO. This is a special episode. Um, like I said, we're still gonna be running every Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Stay tuned. I'm still, it's still open for suggestions. So post some suggestions down below. Thank you guys all and stay tuned for our next episode, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. All right, Bobby, thanks. So this is what happened. Oh, I'm stuck. So this is what happens when you come to Uniform Store. You cannot just get one thing. So stay tuned. Live LEO. God bless. Stay safe, people.